Hi, Dr. De Pasquale from NSI, and I want to talk briefly about autoimmune disease and what role does stem cell therapy play in, the, in overcoming that condition. Um, I think it's really important to understand what autoimmune diseases are. I don't know that enough patients are real, truly educated as to why they develop. You know, we typically tell patients, look, you're broken. We're not quite sure why it's developing. There may be a genetic predisposition. The best you can do is take these meds and hope for the best. And that's not what we teach. That's not what we teach based on, you know, the knowledge that we have and the literature that we see. Um, autoimmune diseases are a lifestyle disease or they're, they're an environmental disease. And I think that's why we see so many of them now. Uh, you know, our environment has become very stressful in terms of the food we eat, you know, the chemicals in our food system, the environmental toxins. Yes, there are genetic predispositions. Um, but those genetic predispositions don't always have to become a disease. So the way in which uh, autoimmune di disease develop is, look, it's, it's your immune system attacking healthy tissue. MS is your immune system attacking brain or spinal cord. Um, RA is your immune system attacking joints. You know, uh, thyroiditis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is your immune system attacking thyroid. It doesn't really matter what the end damages, uh, that's just how we classify it, we still have an immune system that's just attacking healthy tissue for whatever reason. Um, but that's just it. There is a reason. So why does that happen? Well, we have two sides to our immune system. We have the cell-mediated and the antibody-driven. Remember, like chicken pox, right? When we get a chicken pox virus, the cell-mediated immune system attacks and kills it, and the antibody-driven portion remembers it. So we never get the disease again, and that's natural immunity. That's a really powerful thing. When we are autoimmune, our immune system is dysregulated, meaning that our cell-mediated immune system should be dominant. We should be killing things all the time. Anything that comes in, you know, into our bloodstream or anything that's foreign, we should be, that's our army, we should mount the defense and we should kill it. But in, in the antibody-driven portion should be the, the less dominant portion. We only need this every so often. But with an autoimmune patient, the exact opposite is true. And we have these, you know, uh, hyperactivity of our, of our immune system. But why does that happen? Well, the only logical theory that exists is, is leaky gut syndrome. And, and most people, you know, some people have heard of it, uh, but most people haven't. And the way, the way in which we explain that is this. We have a barrier in our gut, and it's a really important part of how we're put together. We talk about the blood-brain barrier to protect our brain, but in our gut, we have to also assimilate nutrients. We have to bring things from the internal portion of our gut into the bloodstream so that we can assimilate nutrients. That's how we break things down. So we have this barrier, and it's made up of cells, and they're fitted very close together, and they're bound together, so nothing can get in or out unless it travels through the cell. So when we want our nutrient, we allow it to come through the cell, and that's a normal thing. We don't recognize it as foreign, and essentially we assimilate it into our bloodstream. When the tight junctions that hold the cells together break apart, and there are you know, proteins that hold the cells together, and they break apart because they become denatured, one of the most common causes of breakdown of those proteins is gluten, you know, the protein found in wheat and rye and barley. It actually breaks down those proteins, which are called zonulin proteins, and essentially then we create gaps or leaky gut. And when, pro when uh, molecules come into the, the gut itself, they can now go into those gaps and travel directly into the bloodstream. And when that happens, we create an immune response, primarily because, you know, look, we're not, we don't want foreign particles in our bloodstream. That's a bad thing. We definitely don't want that. So when those particles enter the bloodstream directly, we mount an immune response. Now, here's the thing. We don't develop autoimmunity the first time that happens. You know, uh, over time, and this can be many years, our immune system is constantly being triggered by the things that are entering our bloodstream. And then what happens is there's typically a, like an external trigger. And that external trigger can be a viral infection, it can be a serious emotional event, it can be a traumatic event like a car accident, and all of a sudden our, our immune system goes haywire and it starts to attack healthy tissue. We call it then at that point lupus. Um, once a patient develops an autoimmune condition, the bad news is we can never get rid of it. But here's what we can do. We can regulate immune function. We can cause it to be non-symptomatic or put it into remission with natural methods as opposed to using medication that suppress our entire immune system and open us up to cancer and infections. That's not a good long-term solution. So what we do is we focus on regulating immune function and stem cell therapy is a very powerful tool to allow us to do that. But then we go to work from a functional medicine and lifestyle standpoint, repairing 
and regenerating the gut mucosa so that we can shut off the leaky faucet. We don't propagate the issue. But then uh, also, you know, do the things that are necessary to teach patients, you know, how to live a healthy lifestyle and what tools they need to maintain that remission. It's all done in a natural setting using natural products with very little risk. And at the end of the day, it's the only way that we can possibly bring that person from a period of crisis and then give them the tools necessary to lead a healthy lifestyle and improve the quality of their life. And that's exactly what we do.